What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? This is Metacosis Perfectionaires, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, we will continue our comparisons playlist. It's time to talk about IgA nephropathy versus Alport syndrome. IgA nephropathy is not just a nephropathy, it's a very big umbrella that's called IgA disease. The patient might have problems in the kidney, hence IgA nephropathy. The patient might have purpura on the skin, hence the association with Henoch, Shonley, and purpura. The patient might cough up blood, hemoptysis, because of IgA antibodies in my lungs. But Alport syndrome is a genetic disease where my type 4 collagen gets destroyed. As you know, type 4 is in the floor. It's in the basement membrane, basement membrane of my glomeruli basement membrane in my inner ear, in my lens, etc. Mostly, this is X-linked recessive, which means mostly gonna affect boys. Clinically, it's a triad of nephritic syndrome, sensory neural hearing loss, and ocular abnormalities, which are most likely to be cataracts or anterior lenticonus, or both. This is my comparisons playlist. It is dear to my heart because a good doctor is the one who understands distinctions. Otherwise, you will keep wandering around the field trying to find the fins. Today will be a very quick comparison. If you want the original discussion, check out my 5-minute review playlist or my nephrology playlist. Let's start by talking about Alport syndrome, and we'll talk about IgA nephropathy, then we'll compare between the two. When I see the word Alport, I just say L4. Why 4? Because collagen type 4 is destroyed. Alport syndrome is a nephritic syndrome, which means my kidney is losing blood in the urine. Syndrome usually has seven features, and they are hypertension, hematuria jugular venous distension, oliguria, mild edema, and proteinuria, renal azotemia. These are your nephritic syndromes. As you see, Alport is here. IgA nephropathy is also here. Both are nephritic. All right, Alport, take it from here. I'm a genetic disease. What's the mode of inheritance? Mostly X-linked recessive, which means overwhelmingly males. Overwhelmingly, not exclusively. Big difference. Remember the story of the X chromosome leonization, and this is why some females can get an X-linked recessive a fact that most doctors do not understand. Or it could be autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive. Okay, thank you. Clinically speaking, we have the triad. Blood in the urine, we have ocular findings and sensory neural deafness. Why nephritic syndrome? Because type 4 in my glomerular basement membrane is gone. Why sensory neural deafness? Same thing. The collagen in the cochlea is gone. How about the eye problems? Collagen in the lens is gone. What ocular findings? Cataract and anterior lenticonus. Lenti means lens. Conus, well, your lens became like a cone. Isn't that normal? Shut up. Normally, your lens is like this. A conus is when it becomes like this. Oh, look at this cone action. Oh, if it happens anteriorly, it's called anterior lenticonus. If it happens posteriorly, it is posterior lenticonus. How do I diagnose the patient? Clinically? And with electromicroscopy, you will see longitudinal splitting of the lamina densa of the glomerular basement membrane. And you will end up seeing lamellated glomerular basement membrane, many layers, because it has been split because type 4 collagen is mutated. This disease is not necessarily immunological, so serum complement is not going to change. Complications? End-stage renal disease. How do I manage it? Symptomatically. When everything hits the fan, dialysis or kidney transplant. So that was the first topic. The second topic is IgA nephropathy or Berger disease. Please understand that Berger is not the same as Berger. It's E and not UE. If it's just E, then it's IgA nephropathy. But if it's UE, then it is thromboangiitis obliterans. Beautiful. It's an ugly disease. IgA nephropathy, genetic mostly, multi-hit hypothesis, decreased galactosylation of IgA1. That's why there is IgA everywhere. It's high in the serum. It ends up in my kidney, especially in the mesangium. It can also end up in my lungs. 
That's why a better name than IgA nephropathy is IgA disease because many organs can be affected by the stupid IgA. The classic scenario is a young patient, usually young adult, who developed upper respiratory tract infection. And in the same day, or at least one to two days later, there is blood in the urine. Since the pharyngitis and the hematuria are very closely related, chronologically speaking, we can call this disease synpharyngitic macroscopic hematuria. There is blood in the urine, it is gross, I don't mean disgusting, it's just macroscopic, not microscopic, but it's also true that if I have blood in the urine, it will be gross. And synpharyngitic, because syn means what? The same. That's why you synchronize over the cloud. What does synchrony mean? Syn, same. Chrono means time. Synchronize, oh, at the same time, they are syncing together. When I make a change on the file on the phone, it changes on my computer at the same time. Synchrony. Synpharyngitic. Hematuria. While having pharyngitis, at the same time, I'm having blood in the urine. What a beautiful phrase to describe a horrible disease. I can see anti-glucan antibodies, serum complement is normal, it's focal, it's proliferative, and don't forget that the IgA antibodies are in the mesangium. Gross hematuria, dysmorphic red blood cells, red blood cell casts, there is a very important association with Henoch, Shanley, and Purpura. The complication is chronic kidney disease. Management, immunosuppressants, ACE or ARBs. Don't forget that they usually have hypertension because it's nephritic syndrome. When everything hits the fan, dialysis or kidney transplant. Here is a quick review of Henoch, Shalnia, and Purpura. If you biopsy this rash, you know what you find? You find IgA antibodies. Now to the comparison, Alpert syndrome versus IgA nephropathy. Alpert, the patient is usually a young boy. Why? Usually X-linked recessive. I said usually, not always. But in IgA nephropathy, the patient is slightly older. Young adult, could be male or female. History of deafness, cataracts, anterior lenticonus, and blood in the urine. IgA nephropathy, history of upper respiratory tract infection, and quickly followed by blood in the urine could be quickly followed by or could be simultaneous with don't forget the association with hinox shalni and purpura etiology alpert is genetic most likely x-link recessive because of mutation of alpha chain of type 4 collagen in the lamina densa of the glomerular basement membrane not just of your kidney but the basement membrane of your eyes ears etc how about iga nephropathy genetic component the multi-hit hypothesis decreased galactosylation of iga1 symptoms are very similar edema hypertension hematuria fever proteinuria alpert syndrome will have deafness and cataracts and anterior lenticonus iga nephropathy usually will not Conversely, IgA nephropathy can have the purpura, blood in the stool, I'm coughing up blood, and these symptoms are more likely with IgA than with Alport. Cataract, present in Alport, absent in IgA nephropathy. Anterior lenticonus, positive in Alport, negative in IgA nephropathy. Deafness, present in Alport, absent in IgA nephropathy. Serum complement is normal in either one. Electromicroscopy and immunofluorescence. Alpert does not have any immune complex deposits. It's a purely genetic disease. The problem is only in the collagen. Can I see a banana split? Absolutely, but it's not the banana. It's the basement membrane, the lamina densa to be particular. How about IgA nephropathy? Now you see deposits. What are they? Immune complexes, antigen, antibody. Where do I see them? In the mesangium. You see here, one, two, three, four. A is the fourth letter. It's the one, two, three, got a fourth letter also. IgA, when the A is here, IgA, mesangium. It's just a stupid mnemonic. Treatment, symptomatic, dialysis, IgA nephropathy, immunosuppressants, dialysis. And don't forget to surgically replace the lens of the poor boy, usually via phacoemulsification. Pause and review. If you like this video, you shall adore my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectionetics.com. We'll teach you about antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic medications. It comes with questions. 
cases and answers my perfect status ultimate notebook which by the way you should print and keep it for you forever it's going to help you tremendously in your career and a lovely mind map to make sense of all of this nonsense i also have a renal physiology course on my website thank you for watching please subscribe hit the bell and click on the join button you can support me here or here go to my website to download my courses be safe stay happy study hard this is medicosis perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense